is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Clements Homebrew coming at you with an SJ Pour Challenge 2014 update. The big question I get repeated over and over and over again is, I don't know if I can do this contest. I, how many beers am I going to need to provide? So I'm going to give you a quick summary of that. Uh, it's not going to be exact, but you'll get the gist. All right, we're going to have four regional contests, possibly five. We got myself, Kevin. We have SJ Poor, the man himself. We've got Lermo 22. And then we have the team of Nathan and Brad from Under the Table Brewing. Um, so four regions that cover West, uh, Midwest, uh, East Coast, and the South. And we may have a fifth hub. So what does that mean to you? We're trying to keep the numbers down in the regional contests. Uh, that means that in a regional contest, we at the max, at the very max, we want anyone to ship would be 20 beers. And we would rather keep it in that 12 to 16 range. It's going to be a challenge to do. We will have to have you send like an extra beer for breakage, you know, or bottle leaks. So uh, we're working hard to maintain that, but on the first regional basis, just plan on needing 12 to 20 beers. Now, on the U.S. finals, if you make it past the regionals, you will need more beers to ship out. Uh, in that case, if there are four hubs, you're going to have to provide for three winners and three other hubs, in other words, nine beers, or if there end up being five, you'll need 12 beers and probably, again, plan on putting an extra one in to send to your hub as a spare. We will reduce the number of hubs as we're shipping out for the U.S. Finals, so you won't be shipping to four or five places. And then finally, if you make it to the international contest, there will be 500 countries with three people needing to receive those beers each. So you're talking about needing three times five, 15 more beers. Now, if you add that up at the max, we're talking about 48 beers to reserve to make it all the way through. Now, this is for U.S. participants, but to make it all the way through to the international finals. So what we want to say to you is, go ahead and brew. You'll get 48 beers in a five-gallon batch, no problem. Maybe go for that five-and-a-half, six-gallon batch. But go ahead and brew. Bottle them up, set 48 bottles aside, don't touch them. Yeah, sample one for yourself. Call that good. And then just don't touch them, but you'll be fine. And then once you know whether you've made it into the regionals, uh, you know whether you can start drinking them, sending them to me, or, <laughs> no kidding, but, uh, and, and where you need to go from there. And for those of you that need to rebrew, it is possible that you could rebrew depending on the beer and the style, that you could rebrew to have things ready for the international challenge if need to be. But hopefully that gives you a good idea. Just plan on reserving 48 bottles for the contest. I hope that helps. I hope that I get less questions about that one. And by the way, if you do not think that you're going to be able to do the SJ Port Challenge, please let us know. We'd love to know by our deadline of April 16th. So we can kind of tally things out, come up with dollar amounts for everyone, and get things finalized. So if you don't think you're going to be able to do the challenge, go to the sjpoorchallenge.com website, and you can email me. Uh, I've been managing it. Probably just better to email me, or you could email Paul Wicksteed and let them know, uh, let us know, and we'll get you removed so we can get accurate counts. But uh, we hope to see you all part of the challenge. So from Kevin at Clements Homebrew, happy SJ Poor Challenge 2014 contest extravaganza!